Hashtag reality serve. Hashtag create 365 life. Hashtag infinity being. Let's go to your toes and then... That is also on the ground. You're going to stop. Yeah, because I, I learned now that I have to lean forward in an average. Damn it, do it one more time, one more time. I don't mean damn it, I mean, here's an opportunity. The toes go like this even though they're in the air and they can't even grasp anything but they still go like Try to hold on to yeah. steel <laughs> How would y'all feel? It's open 24 hours. <laughs> you want to go in? Bail balls, but we have no one in jail. Well, it's, it's, like we it, it's open 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can knock. It's open 24 hours. The light just turned off back there. Off? Yeah. It's on. And then yeah. Off. It's connected when you know. Did you try opening? I tried. It says it's open 24 hours. That'd be cool. There aren't a lot of places open 24 hours that I'm aware of. There is not. That's what I think would be such a great idea in this fucking city. Dude, as a business or as just a place. And I'm trying right now to be that place because I don't have the money to buy that place or make it. So like I'm optimizing money out of my solution for this thing that I think is valuable to create but taking away all, a lot of the limitations that people believe exist to do that thing. A lot of the problems that, with these type of things... Is, uh, What's that? A lot of things like this get sabotaged by people that are on drugs or homeless or something that basically, because they don't have other support options, will end up oh, yeah. flocking to it. And right. then you'll become a homeless shelter. Or, like the donut shops, for example. It's, a lot of them work in the city, right? Oh, totally, open, totally. Open 24 hours and... Right. That's, uh, yeah, when you have a lack of social safety net. The missing right. piece. Ah, <laughs> see, this is the missing piece. Thank you, sir. It is. <laughs> what does it say? Do you want it? What does it say? Oh, you know what? This is from the business card that this woman gave me yesterday. Her name was Kinthia. And, uh... Kinthia? That's kinthia.net, N-E-T. Not Cynthia, but no, Cynthia. Cynthia. Wow. And she texted me this photo today. We met what, two nights ago. And her photo was of her like 90 year old mother smiling to the camera because we had talked about her mother, basically. <laughs> and she made some like joke about it 
and not joked. It was like she was like sharing. She felt we had a connection, mm-hmm. so she was like sharing something that she found, you know, cute in her life. You know, as like a continuation of the connection of making life meaningful at at moments, right? Like by sharing it with somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, like earlier somebody asked me. What do you use your iPhone for? Remember he said that? You don't yeah. you don't use and I yeah. said I I use it to coordinate reality. Like <laughs> that's what this thing life. fucking is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't do any consumption of media or any, there's no not a single moment wasted with this fucking thing. I literally am coordinating life 24/7 with this thing. And I'm reaching into mimetic pasts and mimetic futures and or no, I'm I'm reaching into the past mimetically but I'm cra- using the past to craft the future. Because, I, like I texted Carly, right? I said, I know someone who can solve this thing in the present for me right now, and if she can get back to me in a quick enough time frame, it will be the manifestation of the reality that <laughs> like, you can know anything at any time and like, implement it, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I use that tool a lot. So like, I'll, I'll like, text or message friends that, I ne- that I've established a relationship where they want they're open to me texting them whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'll text them about all kinds of crazy questions. You know, like, <laughs> how do you do this thing that I know only you know how to do of all the people I've ever met? And they'll, like, sometimes get back to me within seconds, you know, mm-hmm. or minutes. And then I'll, like, be able to solve that, like, little part of life that I didn't know how to do, you know? Yeah. No, that's, that's a big thing these days, right? I mean, we basically have access to all of human knowledge yeah at all times at every moment and it, it it's not it used to be a protected thing right they protected knowledge knowledge was power yeah and so it was hidden it was controlled and it was limited yeah but now that limitation is just is gone right and it's it's no longer there and, and it leaves people in this weird state where they don't even understand what what value a lot of things are or aren't. It's all free, right? It's all there. Yes, this comes. We're paused for commercial break as the truck that makes a lot of noise goes by. <laughs> this brought to you by the truck that makes a lot of noise corporation at the truck that makes a lot of noise dot com. Go there today for your special. To order a truck that makes a lot of noise. <laughs> and we're back. As you were saying, something about the, the time and the... Yeah, it, it's not about what you know nowadays. Because basically anybody can learn about or find out any piece of information. Mm-hmm. It's about what you do with it. Mm-hmm. This is the matter to Right, exactly. It's, it's, uh... That's... And that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm realizing that's one way you and I really connect is... <laughs> And that I feel like I'm able to connect with more and more people also is because I'm like seeing life from everyone's perspectives. As I'm like at the like Why you have to here? take a vegetable break. Thank you. This commercial brought, <laughs> brought to you this by vegetable break. Potatoes <laughs> and onions. <laughs> this vegetable break brought to you by Potatoes and Onions. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> no, dot life. Dot life, dude. <laughs> Potatoes and onions, dot life. And this is the uh, new top level domains now. Dude, I was, I was shocked <laughs> that dot life is available. You can buy them for less than 25 bucks. Yeah. So I registered a dot life today. You can make all kinds of ridiculous shit with that. <laughs> Handing out, here, I'm about to maybe get an identity card that says reality surfer, you know, and you can go to reality.surf. And it's, so I have these friends here. I don't have a business card. It's not a business card. I have multiple friends here who have identity cards mm-hmm. as a superhero. And remember we talked about this last time? Mm-hmm. But I've since become friends with multiple of these people. Mm-hmm. What, what and scene like, is the that? Ha- like the raw food scene? That's not a scene. It's, it's the fucking what is future. For hero? It's what people who are hero? inventing a new thing in, in reality. I and only being saw that in the raw thing. food book. That's why I'm really? asking that. Yeah, the raw food book is all about superhero. That's the only What's connection food? I make to it. Yeah, I know it's superfood, but it's also superhero. Oh. I don't know why. No, so, superhero so, is like an alter identity, right? It's like okay. yeah. a, a person that. Oh, you, you mean can be... a superhero? They have like all kinds of superheroes? 
or the, it says superhero on that card or does it say like Batman on that card? Oh, okay. For instance, one of his goes, his goes, Captain Rainbow. Okay. Interstellar superhero. And it has his email or phone number. That's it. And you can't find this guy's real identity online, right? And so, I mean, he and he'd be okay if you did, to be sure, which I think mm -hmm. is so beautiful about it, right? It's a public, accessible via information pseudonym. Mm -hmm. It's not a pseudonym, though. It's a chosen name. And as we make this tr strange choice in life, but it seems to play out in our benefit and it's sustainable and we seem to feel happy by doing it, then it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's a choice literally groups of people are making and finding that it's bringing happiness and success into their lives. Mm -hmm. And it's this thing that previously publicly was weird and strange, except you know a dude fucking doing it, or a dudette. <laughs> or a few of them. Or a dudeis, or whatever. It's <laughs> trying to go with like cisgender. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah, totally good. Whoa, <laughs> see that's the other thing. Making jokes from other perspectives. <laughs> Cool. So, see, I'm even observing that, though, like I just said that. Here's the thing I'm a little tied up on. I know I keep saying I, 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 I. I can't tell if that's an ego thing that I'm doing as I talk and, ex and verbalize a perspective, or if it's a thing that is actually valuable, or I guess it's both. Ah, I think that's what I'm doing. I think I'm realizing that's how those fucking fears and deaths work. There's some big thing that I think is death, mm -hmm. which is the thing I feel is fear. I am afraid of this thing. If this future occurs, I, am di I will die, or I don't know who I am anymore, or whatever, right? Like, like I, here's a thing I can't let go of. I may not even know the term letting go. Here's a thing I believe. Here's a thing that's true about reality. Axiomatically. Axiom what? Axiomatically. Uh, a priori. Okay. Is that? Yeah. Okay. And I think a priori, meaning like without a, like the, um, the uh, unmoved mover kind of structure. Like the God that started the whole universe. I know, I have the same feeling. Maybe that puzzle piece wants to go in there. It really might. Shoot it really far so they really see it. Okay. Let's Here, just hold it like that in the middle. Oh, you're good? Okay. Don't come, now you're coming. No, but this might be vandalism. This is making a deposit. Making a deposit? At, yeah, at the giving them First a letter. Okay, here we are at First Republic Bank, and we're, um, we're making a deposit of... Uh, the missing piece. The missing piece can I from Kinthia.net. Now, uh, yeah, I guess you can. The missing piece, okay. Cool, and we're back. Deposit? Do I put a wish on it or something? Or do yes. I just put the physical thing in? I think putting a wish on it would be nice. Okay, here's what do you want to wish? What's our wish? It's gonna be related to money. Okay, it's okay, like here's the wish. A bank. It's not a wish. Here's an intention. I'm gonna verbalize an intention. How about that? My intention is to realize it is to be a space where it is reality that Money is first a transitional technology, and then we can all be free of it in such a way that it eliminates, not eliminates, that we, that we lose the stress and anxiety that it causes all of us. Yeah, it serves human needs. It serves human needs currently, but I believe these are not needs. I believe we are giving away our power at this point in human history. In the past, this was necessary. I'm not judging it at all. Money has been a beautiful technology. It will continue to be forever in history. 
we can choose to see it that way. It was a learning opportunity to get to this point. I believe that that's true. I don't believe that. I feel that that's true. So, I don't judge money. I'm announcing that here and now. Money is great. However, not however. Yes, money is great. And we can be free. Er. And that might look like a world where we can live, where we can be in such a way that money is removed from the equation. There is less friction in the system. We are adding frictionlessness. One might even say, paradoxically, not paradoxically, but oxymoronically. Or is it an oxymoron? That's up to you to decide. How's that wish? Or intention? Sounds good. You don't have to set it. It's an invitation, not an obligation. I'm going to set it for myself. in relation to reality as it as I surf the wave like I can literally take 40 steps back and film and have created a context where it's okay for me to be doing that and therefore I also give space while I create art from a distance or in whatever medium or whatever ways that I am creating space once again we were not stopped and not locked How many times have we walked up and down this alley and never a rod in our stomach? It's disappointing. <laughs> I, I, I would like to be stabbed. Can we Don't go manifest. somewhere that can make that happen? Don't Please. We got a knife back in our kitchen. Uh, <laughs> I have recently been thinking about getting a piercing and a tattoo. Those are two things that I have been opposed to my whole life. But you haven't been considering getting one. No, um, no, I've been opposed to my whole life. No, I, I had little ideas of like making something here and I was like, no. So is that because you have a deeper underlying wish of being stabbed, maybe? Ah, see, you associate these things as bad like that render you unsafe. Like stabbing and piercing. Ah, ah, ah. Well, it, it was a lesser form. It <laughs> made me think, I mean, like, stabbing is not piercing, but it is a knife. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're cutting your flesh mm -hmm. for me that has been like a painful idea mm -hmm. and an idea that was associated because of the culture I grew up in basically because of I mean the way I interpreted the culture growing up was that's an interesting thing to say that's a perspective shift that I haven't done before wow <laughs> so I guess I also use my verbalization of the meta the, the meta narrative emerges as I verbalize what I'm realizing about my perspective as I realize it. <laughs> ah, so I'm literally shifting, I'm transforming, like I'm moving into some, I'm expressing a limit, and as I express that limit I see it. And then I set an intention to practice life without that limit, basically, like remain equanimous without craving or aversion. And as I be it, as I am it, 
and if it if and life is still fine i'm healthy i'm vibrant mm -hmm. i feel connected and happy and fulfilled like others seem to feel the same way in my presence it seems to align in a meta pattern way with all the spiritual wisdom traditions that i seem to be learning about simultaneously and it also seems to align with everything i've ever learned or experienced you know from private school and neuroscience and everything that I've ever experienced, which maybe is just me thinking that this was all some external perspectives that I'm learning. That's an interesting idea. So what happened with tattoos in your... See, I'm realizing how to see things oh, okay. internally and not as a projection. Mm -hmm. Like I've been saying, oh, there's these hundreds of like domains that I've learned. No. Well, yes. And this is my perspective that I'm projecting out into the universe. And therefore I'm seeing it. Sure. It's my holographic projection of myself that I'm mistake mistaking for, the world. for reality. Mm -hmm. And so that's another question I keep asking myself. Am I just becoming delusional? And so that, th that question's always in my, that's been in my mind, but then as I move into it, it feels like the truth and everything seems to be going fine and everything's healthy and happy. And I seem to be feeling more and more connected. Like, what's going wrong in this situation? I don't think anything's going wrong in this situation. People have these concerns, but I understand through my direct experience that they don't seem valid. I mean, they're valid. Like, they're, that's, that's, a, that's their perspective because they look at what I'm doing as a form of fear or they feel fear in relation to what I'm doing. It looks like a kind of death. And so people become, people are coming to me out of the woodwork and, not woodwork, I've had, we can walk by the way, I don't mean to keep us, but um, I've had many people over the past few years reach out to me concerned about what I'm doing with my life. I even had one friend I had a conversation with who thought I might die and I was putting him and everyone else in my friend network at risk of experiencing trauma from your death from my death that is very selfish of you yeah that's so mean of you to just die and make trauma trauma for them <laughs> I know that's, right <laughs> that's ridiculous I mean, mm -hmm. are you being sincere yeah, seriously why? I mean, well, because it's but, your life. And no, but I'm realizing that I'm not going to die. What I'm doing is things that other people are doing. Exactly, but it's still, even beyond that, just the premise of it, that you're causing others discomfort by potentially dying. No, but I'm not actually potentially dying. Well, everyone's potentially dying all the time. What's that? Do you want to make some street art? You want, yeah, can we do it? I'm like, help. Thank you. Dude, I've been wanting to do this ever since I met you. <laughs> uh oh. I've been telling people about art. People ask me about reality surfing, and I say, you know what? It really all kind of started with this guy, Jonathan. <laughs> like, and I've told, I've probably told 40 people about our experience. Wow. Wow. You're famous. Meaning, you're part of a meta narrative that if I introduced you into their lives, they would have already heard of you from the past. And they would think it was really cool if in the future they actually got to do the thing with you that I told them about. That's the, free, that's the creation of a meta narrative, mm -hmm. where the currency is human connection. Mm -hmm. hmm. well, why do you want to get a tattoo? What's that? Oh, damn, Jonathan. This is new. Where did that come from? I don't know. It was in here. We shouldn't put it out, maybe. Magnetized too. Yo, what's that bridge over there, guys? <gasps> There's a knife in case you wanted to. Here's a knife. Do something with the knife. You wanted to get stabbed, right? We can just do that right now if you want. Boop, boop, boop. I feel me jumping steps. You, you walk around the corner, all non assuming, he stabs you. Uh -huh. With a butter knife. Uh -huh. Maybe you have to go back to Stabber Alley. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a row, there's a street in LA called Skid Row. Is that people really people are also afraid of the tenderloin here. Yeah, sure. Extra fine grass. Weird stuff happens in the tenderloin. <laughs> I know. I've seen some pretty crazy shit. But you're too. alive. I am. Extra fine graphite dry lubricant. What is that? Oh, okay. Dry lubricant. Sounds like a oxymoron. 
Let me ask you a question. How'd you make it through the Tenderloin Alive all those times? Luck. Luck. Ah. Are you being sincere? No. Well, I have... I haven't spent that much time. I've just seen some crazy things. And the times that I have gone through sometimes. Okay. What is spackle? I just need to know that, Jen. All these years, you never told me what's spackle. Filling in holes. Did you know you can make one of these with a knife and a hammer? Oh, this is like an instrument. Not anymore. Can we get a dance? 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 That's the name of this video, Spackle Fun. Lena seems to think Spackle's fun. I'm not sure if Spackle's fun. <laughs> Can, okay, I'm gonna find out right here's now. a question real quick. I'm gonna step out for one second and get meta about what's going on here, partially, as an opportunity to walk into a future. How would y'all feel about me publishing this online? We don't even know how it ends yet. How can we talk about Okay, publishing? you have permission at the very end of this to tell me either way. Okay, to unpublish? I just ask you to be open to the idea of it being published. <laughs> just consider an openness to the idea of it being published. Okay. No like problem. on YouTube. Okay. There's no pressure either way. Whoa. I will let you review it before Spackle it would be published. Spackle is open. Spackle Fun begins. And here's what I'm claiming. We call this film Spackle Fun. So where Spackle Fun begins. Okay. Look at this Spackle, sweetie. There's a hole over here. The man comes home and they give me and I go like, good morning. And that's my spackle. For tonight. What do you think about it? Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's more fun. No, no, no. <laughs> go on. We can fix the streets. <laughs> the city's broken. That's a wonderful idea, my dear. The city's really... Is it right here? Oh. It's gonna be so fulfilling to fill this hole. <laughs> it's gonna make us so good. Yeah. Hammer it down. Oh, hammer the <laughs> All hail the spackle. <laughs> hammer it down. <laughs> fix this city when speeding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it. this city. <laughs> Look, San Francisco Public Works. <laughs> These are paid employees, but <laughs> this is this, real you know it's you can, the neighborhood. Yeah, you know you can tell people this is your job. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living? <laughs> Speckle fun. <laughs> well, I go, I walk around. Urban repairs. What's that? Urban repairs. Urban repairs. Oh, dot life. <laughs> Literally, we put it up on the website that people can do this with you, <laughs> and then they can, and then it's a thing they can pay for. Yeah. Wow, you do a good job. I know, I know. It's in my, in my nature. I've been a spackler <laughs> since Since ever. the beginning of time. Since I was born. I knew I was a spackler. She was going to be a spackler. Because <laughs> she, she knew it'd be fun. <laughs> Just call me Spackle Fun. Just call me Spackle Fun. Oh yeah, you gotta hammer it a bit more. You gotta... <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. Do the other one. <laughs> You're messing it up. <laughs> the tension arose with her first employee. <laughs> Sorry, you giving me orders. <laughs> he, could, he couldn't keep up. <laughs> It was not in the spirit of pure collaboration. This was a money-making endeavor. Her stakes, there were stakes on the line. Would you like them cooked medium I wish, some concrete. I wish we had... Here's a question I've been grappling with. I was about to say, should I... 
should we have steaks medium rare? Not should, but do you want to have steaks medium rare? But then I'm thinking, do I wish to be vegetarian? I think that my current thought is that vegetarianism is slightly arbitrary relative to beingism or no, being, being a Tarian. Like if you eat a being that is alive, it has a energy and psyche and soul and all that type of stuff. You, but it's not alive anymore when you eat it. <laughs> so this is something I'm, I guess I have an issue with is life eating life. I guess I'm trying to solve an equation where life doesn't rely on life to live. Sure. Yeah, it's called vegetarianism. No, no, no. That's eating, that's eating plants. Yeah. One step, one step at a time. I know, but I'm saying I think vegetarianism could be a, t a transitional technology. Sure. I don't really know. Towards breatharianism. Yeah. Exactly. Which is a thing that actually exists. You can go straight exactly. to breatharianism too if you want. But Except it's only a joke right now and it may not actually be real in terms of preserving life. Yeah, probably real. You think it's real? Yeah. How's that spackle fun come out? If you could Are describe you your spackling experience, if you could one just word, hammer a little bit more. What would it be? It's just what about fulfilling. <laughs> spackle fulfilling. Literally. <laughs> it's li <laughs> fulfilling the street. <laughs> you're you're filling it full of spackle. Fulfilling my heart. Are you saying your heart is I didn't the know. I didn't know that this was my desire ever since I was searching. Uh -huh. Something that really fulfills me and now I found it. I was it's searching for this desire. It's, it's almost like Werner Herzog. It's what, what I'm what? seeing right now in this film that we're creating. You know what? Herzog. And I'm not making fun of your accent. Yeah. Do you watch any Werner Herzog documentaries? Oh yes, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, he's like... These people. He's like... He's like here is a thing. If I was not, if I, if I were not you, if I were you, I would not watch it. But here it is. Goodbye. You know, he's like, he's like that dramatic. If I had a hammer, I, love it. I would. Use Did it you see the one where he goes to the Antarctic? No. I've or seen, Arctic. I've seen Whatever. only Grizzly Man, and uh, I saw his a, fic too. a fiction film he made about the war landing in World War Two or whatever that was, Korea. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, the, the pilot went down behind enemy lines with Christian Bale. It's actually a really powerful movie. Hmm. It's okay. about the story of this guy surviving years in a fucking prison behind enemy lines in Vietnam based on a true story. Like he literally, Werner Herzog, who's a documentarian, goes in and recreates the reality of our best accurate, well like, I don't know best accurate, but at least highly accurate and dramatically compelling work of art. That is this person's real life. So that's a profound thing to watch. How does someone do that? Ah, so the filmmaker goes in there as a documentarian and learn I, ah, and learns how to accomplish the thing that this person has done. <laughs> Documentary is a can be a form of Documentary can be a form of like intentional learning, basically. I can say, here's a frame that I wish to learn how to think within. You know, here's a world I could walk into. Uh, what world do I want to walk into? Okay, how do I make it intentional such that I can move into that world and it's socially acceptable? And I can learn that frame by watching it and experiencing it. Well, that frame would be, um, that frame would be doing, you know, a kind of like, uh, you know, doing a kind of, uh, what do you guys think? I think it's good. I think it's good. Here's a question I've got. I do have these. That was a cop that just rolled by. I think so. Red paint? That was a cop that just rolled by. Yeah. So I would just want to be clear about whether Excuse we're doing something illegal. Really. Uh, but you would have to stop. I think we're fine, actually. I don't think we're doing anything illegal. I 
It's just a little strange. You know what I mean? I like is is I don't know, spackling the sidewalk with supplies oh, that are sitting here. Oh. Okay. To match to thing. match your jacket. This thing? If you want to do street art, you need. Okay, thank you. But then uh this looks suspicious. <laughs> uh yes, officer, I'm I'm using my microphone. Can't you see I'm recording a video? Um I'm just using it as a practice microphone. Oh, it has paint? Oh, I didn't, no, no, this is, it's cotton candy. This is cotton candy. Yeah, we're good. No, 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 I'm, I'm just walking around tonight. I'm good. Thank you. How are you tonight? Excellent. This is completely new, so you might not want to it. So, here's the end of the film. Here's a question. How would you feel if I published it online? Yeah, don't mind. It, it will, like Creative Commons, you know Creative Commons? Mm -hmm. You know Creative Commons? Yep. yep. All good. On public, on YouTube, maybe distributed even to, as part of some larger meta package to festivals or something like that? Oh, I don't even mind if you get uh, Published Bitcoin on TV. Tips. You can keep the Bitcoin tips. Bitcoin tips. tips Bitcoin payment tips. online. Sure. Yep. Cool. You'll be a rich man. I don't, I'm not wishing to be rich. This is like a transitional way of moving away That's from money. I don't want to be That's powerful. I, I want to be empowered because I, but I can only be powerful as everyone is powerful. That's the model I'm working in. Like I wish for this to be, like the whole point of how it works empowering. is to make it as empowering as possible for everyone involved in the experience at all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's not, stupid jokes. I'm good. I just wanted to clarify where I'm coming from. Yeah. Does it? I mean, does it come across that way? I don't mm -hmm. wish for it not to. That is my intention. No. Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. Well, Bridge, starring San Francisco Bridge. How beautiful is that? And this street. And those trees. And the sidewalk. How do you know I can buy the universe. Hmm? The Trans America the Building. The many perspectives of life that one can be aware of if they are even external to the self. As one projects, as I project my perspective onto all reality and see it in everything. Starring, also, Jonathan and Nina. And yours truly. <laughs> that thing that paints. Jared Shibe. I met a girl in Portland who had her, who's under her second chosen name. So I've been telling people lately my name is Dreama. That was the name I was given on the playa. The, what? the playa, which is uh, the Burning Man. Oh. You know. Uh oh, he's a burner. And that was to the audience. That was that. That was kind of jeering. It's not. It's meant to just like show a caricature of a perspective. Maybe that's destructive. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be mindful of that one. So, uh, so Dreama is a chosen name. Well, it was given to me, but therefore I could also say it's chosen. What is choice? It is also receipt. Choice and receipt are kind of like the same thing. Like just from two different perspectives that are in that feel inverse to each other. In the center of as I was saying earlier, give and receive, you know, basically. I guess that's what it is. Choice. It's giving. Mm. I feel like this part is valuable to you because of the Eisenstein stuff, for instance. Mm -hmm. I'm like trying to articulate the model, the meta model by which it is possible to see and experience and realize a reality in which the only currency that we all need for this to be beautiful and awesome and sustainable is, is uh, giving and receiving with gratitude and love, with giving with love and receiving with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I heard that. And on that, thank you for 
sharing this beautiful experience tonight. And if or when we may meet again, we may space time again, as it were. <laughs> I'm open to doing it as soon as tomorrow. And I'm open to doing it never again, as you may wish. I love you both. Life is magic. And good night. <laughs> and good night to you. I love you too. Well, maybe I'll eat it. What do you think? Would that be... See, those are the types of risks that I am aware of <laughs> that I remain conscious in my dynamic real-time experience. Look at that drop of blood. And then I touched it, and I'm like, I'm willing to eat it. Sure. I don't think it poses any risks. I very much understand that um, wish. Yes. Yeah. I... That's I the question. No, no, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe. I'm saying I, I share that aspiration. Mm -hmm. I'm testing, just, I'm interested, I'm interested to know what the limit of reality is to, for sustainability. Mm -hmm. That's basically like, I think what I'm going for. Like, okay, I may have just come upon a limit in reality. Or maybe we can create technology where it's actually possible to be in a reality where you can just like touch other people's blood and drink it or whatever. But that seems dangerous from my current standpoint. But I'm interested in that question. I'm open to it not being the case. I'm open to a conscious, global, collective world. Like, a, almost going in the direction of like a collective consciousness. Hello. Hey. Where we're all aware simultaneously of ourselves and can coexist. Need some help? Would you like some help? Uh, well, if I'm, I'll get it. All right. It's the shit having uh, been misdirected and then uh, being corrected and realizing you have to repark after you've been drinking. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> well, only three blocks. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Did you see that sign here on the pole? Is there any risk of me touching someone else's blood? Touching? I don't think so. Like, what? Well, like, even if I had AIDS or something, like that, would it be dangerous for him to touch? No. So. I don't know. Yeah, it has to be blood blood contact. Well, can't this soak through and touch my blood? So. Isn't skin permeable in some way? Does blood have such a it. density that it cannot permeate skin? Or it just doesn't. So. It probably could, but I mean, there's seven layers, so it's gonna be. Would you mind if I came in and washed off my finger real quick? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Come in, it's just not me. Okay. I'm just, I don't know. First there are some moments. No, no, there, no, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm straddling a line between sure. openness to all possible features and sustainability. Just stick it on a cactus like that. It'd be dangerous if it pokes the whole exactly. thing. Are that a real cactus? It is. I was literally about to touch that. Well, I mean, that's just an agave. Hold on, let me just wash out my hand. <laughs> I'm keep I'm quarantining this fucking middle finger until we get to some water. I want to dump. Here's the thing. I want to put the blood in the public water exactly. system. Exactly. Just for me to not have HIV. Did you just do Yeah. Oh, I'm not concerned about that. I trust that you would, if you had HIV, you would be conscious enough of your own experience that you wouldn't subject others to it. Oops, sorry. Sleeping. Oh, sorry. Should I walk in? That's for you. Thank you. I like to carry your hand. <laughs>
myself as like a public safety hazard as people may see me watch me do this whatever risks I'm taking and then try to like get into my system so that they can um like fuck with me like try to play in such a way but then like take like cast a spell on me in the sense of like maybe somebody would like create a dangerous situation for me and harm me somehow kind of a thing it's like becoming a, a public health hazard it's not i'm not a hazard i'm like a public <laughs> target for criminal minds no for people who may wish to harm me but i isn't my theory that theory my it seems like the truth is is what i'm saying that as we let go of all fear we can be infinitely connected to everyone and everyone can let go of all of our fear together so i may not surface those who may harm me and if I do, that's okay. It pushes us closer to the future. It pushes. It creates a space of being that we all share. A space where we've all existed with Jared and all these other people. Ourselves. Where we have all shared the experience where it is possible to literally live life such that X is the case. We're all realizing it. So I guess there's nothing to fear. Except fear itself. What a meta idea. Hey everybody! Ah. Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome to the Patreon of the human being known as Jared Shive. Here we are viewing Patreon videos and other media. Maybe not on even Patreon. If you'd like to follow on Patreon, you can go to reality.surf. All these films are uploaded for free. They have a Creative Commons license, so anybody can remix them as much as they want. There's no intellectual property being practiced here. We are practicing free creativity jam. Hashtag free, cre free, free creativity jam at multiple levels in multiple ways. So I invite you to participate in the Create 365 Life Challenge or Opportunity. It doesn't have to be a challenge. Hashtag Create 365 Life or Create 365 life. That's a URL. Like.com, but dot life. So, this is a video on the internet with this organism called Jared Scheib, also called Dreama. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to support the sustainability of this journey. My intention is to use money as a transitional technology into a moneylessness existence uh, way of being. Uh, not that I'm, I don't judge money whatsoever. It has been a beautiful transitional technology, and I'm here to... I'm a, I'm, I'm a social experiment in whether it is possible to live without money, whether we all can, in fact. So, the intention being, if we take away money, we take away stress and tension, maybe. People can feel free to do what they want. Maybe there's a sustainable future that we could all be very conscious in together and thrive even more so than maybe we do now without the technology, transitional technology. Loving it all the while for its entire history. So... Feel free to chip in if you'd like. Feel free to not do that. Whatever you do, it's an invitation, not an obligation. You can watch all this for free. It's all good. And if you'd like to keep following, I'm on Twitter, Jared Scheib. That's J-A-R-E-D-S-C-H-E-I-B. Instagram, Jared Scheib. Facebook, Jared Scheib. JaredScheib.com, that's a version of me. Unconditioned.al, that's a version of me at, the, at a meta level. And, um, yeah. Reality.surf. Enjoy. Have a magical... Hmm. See, there's the acting right there. Have a magical day, and thank you.